Now a short while ago I made a, a video about this uh, cracking little Bauerfang radio, the hang on a minute, UV hyphen 5 RM plus GPS, I had to have a look down there because the name's that long it's unreal and uh, we went through the menus and one or two other things like that I'll leave the link below if you want to have a look at it now what we're going to have a look at today is programming this radio because this radio cannot be programmed in chirp you have to use the uh, Biofang software to do it now we'll leave a link below where you can get this software from um, and all you do is just install it just like any other software uh, and then you connect your radio now you connect your radio with the usual Biofang cable there and connect it to your USB port and turn the radio on and we'll have a look at it from there shall we okay so we've got the software open uh, the radio is connected so let's have a look what we're going to do is uh, we're going to read from the radio now this radio already has uh, some data put into it so we've got some um, frequencies already put in now we're on COM port 9 and we're going to click start so it's giving it a handshake and it says failure and I don't know why let's try again oh I don't think the plug was all the way in let's start again there we go so we're uh, downloading from the radio now we'll uh, put this out until it's fully downloaded so there we go success so uh, this gives us all the frequencies etc etc that we've uh, got on the radio and the software version, hardware version etc etc uh, and it also says when it was last programmed so the 12th of the 3rd 2025 at 10.14 right so let's have a look let's have a look at the settings first now we've got a, a fairly comprehensive list here of uh, the settings so most of these you're going to leave alone okay so uh, the main ones I change is band A, channel display you can have either name frequency number or frequency and name I just leave it on name but you can change it to frequency and name if you want same with uh, band channel 2 we have dual waiting on so we can hear two different channels at the same time and the main band is channel A which is the one on the top I put no password in um, power on face I've changed to character you can have picture, voltage, character and I've put my call sign in there so that's that done I've changed my backlight time to always so it stays on Tone level I've left alone, obviously it's in English. Squelch I've left as two. Power save I've left alone. Um, tone I've turned off. Call and tone I've turned off. Um, auto key padlock. Everything else is the same on there. The only thing I've not done is turned on Vox, which obviously I don't want. Let's have a look at more settings. So this is to do with the uh, GPS. So contact one, each radio has to have a separate contact to, um, to be able to talk to each other, but we'll deal with that in a later video. Okay, uh, we've got program keys. So uh, the top one, um, short press, I've got radio, long press GPS, uh, button to monitor and uh, button to long press is falling alarm and the GPS is enabled so that's the settings right let's have a look at zone configuration now this radio has zones so I've got here we are one two three four five different zones now uh, you can set these zones up separately on the radio 
so you can have say the top channel listening to hand repeater and the bottom one on PMR okay and you can scan just hand repeater or ham simplex Durham's there for when I go up to my daughter's in Durham local which is a local channel that we tend to chat on and uh, PMR now as you can see we can have a maximum of 64 channels in each of these zones and all you need to do if you want to name them is click in there and you can put a name on there like that okay so that's that right let's have a look so this is my hand repeater so this is zone one zone two is ham simplex it says up there what they are up zone three is durham zone four is the local channel and zone five is my pmr channel now one of the problems with this uh, software is that um, you cannot uh, copy and paste in so what i do is i use a uh, repeater book and uh, copy and paste the frequencies and everything in one at a time so i'll show you how i do that i just need to make one or two adjustments on the screen so i'll be back in a second to show you how i do it so here we are in repeater book and we've gone to uh, the section that says outside north america now what we're going to do is we're going to do a proximity search so we'll just click on proximity and i'm going to put in here obviously works up i'm going to change the distance to 50 miles now the band or frequency i want is uh, two meters and 70 cents and i only want fm because we've not got any digital uh, capability on this radio and I click on search and there we go that fetches them all up now as you can see I've got some of these in because these are hand repeaters I've not got the top one in because that's a simplex one uh, that's a simplex one so we've not got that one in uh, we've not got that one in so we've got them all in down to got them all down to uh, Golf Barrel 7 Sierra Hotel. We're going to put in uh, Golf Bravo 3 Uniform Sierra. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the frequency there and that's going to give us all the relevant information. So I'll just double click on it, that highlights it, right click, copy and then I come over here and I click on paste. Now if I click in there that's going to add a load of information in there that's all wrong. So we've got a little set of chevrons here. We're going to double click on that and we can change everything that we need now. So we've got the RX frequency. We want the TX frequency now, which is, as you can see on here, different. So once again, double click, right click, copy, highlight, and paste so that's the offset in as you can see the offset is different so uh, we need an uplink tone so we click on here and we want uh, what is it 10305 uh, power is I'm going to leave as high because it's quite a distance away and everything else on there I'll leave alone apart from the channel name so I'll just double click on that right click copy it's exactly the same highlight it right click and paste and then click exit and that's it there it's in there now everything's right on it okay so it's all done
And no matter what you're putting in, whether it be a repeater or simplex, let's just do a, a simplex one. We've got another one here, look. So we're going to put that one in now. So click on the frequency. Double click on it, copy. Right click and paste, click in there and it puts the same frequency in which is definitely what mm -hmm. we want. Double click on the chevrons, uplink and we want 77, so we'll just put 77. And uh, the only other thing that we're going to change on there is I'm not altering the uh, squelch or anything like that is to put the call sign in. So once again, double click, copy, highlight, paste, and exit. And as you can see, that one's in there now. So that's a quick and easy way to uh, add frequencies onto this radio. Right, so all we're going to do now is go to program, write data to radio, we're still on COM9, click start, handshake, progress, and there you go. Right, I'll leave it now till it's all uploaded. And that's it, success. We we'll click OK, close that down, we'll close the software down, and that information that we've just put on this spreadsheet. Uh, because it is like an Excel spreadsheet, is now on the radio. So we're cooking on gas. Right, I can close my, car, close my uh, repeater book down, and we're all done. Okay, so that's how you program this radio. It does look a little complicated to start with, but it's not that bad. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, oh, I forgot to tell you almost. I'm going to leave a link below where you can get one of these radios and loads of other Biofang stuff as well. Now, um, I've got one more video to make on this uh, GPS radio and that's how to use the GPS section of the radio and how this will connect with another one of these to tell you exactly how far away you are and what direction to travel in and what your location is, etc, etc. So keep your eyes out for that next video. Anyway, that's about it for now. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe. And guess what? I'll see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.